Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this short video, I'm going to review the North Face Hedgehog. See if I can get a get a picture of that Hedgehog hiking shoes. I bought these probably I would say four years ago, just guessing. And I've used them off and on, you know, not hiking regularly these days, but I have used them quite a bit, several times a year at least, including some big mountain hikes in the Swiss Alps, uh, some hiking in Georgia, just uh, wherever, you know. These are my go-to. They're in fact my only hiking shoes right now. They are using the Vibram outsole, which has been really good. I've I've had no issues at all with it and even after so many years they still have a lot of a tread left in addition to that these are the water resistant ones and that has actually worked I've walked through puddles and in streams and as long as the water doesn't go up over or too high around here my feet have stayed dry I have here size 9 I think yep US size 9 which fit me perfect for hiking. I like to go half size up. Normally I'm eight and a half in most of my other, other shoes, but for hiking, I like to have a little bit more room. So I go for nine, which is, which has been absolutely perfect. Um, <clears throat> I really can't complain at all about these shoes. The only thing I would say is they are kind of heavy. They're, uh, they got some weight to them. I brought my scale over here so we can check exactly how much they do weigh. Let's put it in grams. Yeah. Now I can't say they're heavy compared to other hiking shoes in their class, but I'm just saying generally they do feel a bit heavy on my foot. Yeah. 427 grams, you know, and for instance, for reference, like my running shoes, they might be like 300 grams. So these, you know, they got some weight to them, which is probably because they're water resistant and uh, just sturdy shoes. Now I don't know if these have any plating in them, but you can at least bend them up to the toe area quite a bit once you get into the mid midsole though or the mid part of the sole it, it gets quite stiff I bought what I believe are the same ones in the previous version uh, maybe this is like 2014 or something a long time ago now and the salesman at least said that it had some kind of plate in the bottom now I don't know if these do or not but I will say that previous version it was a surprise that I even bought these again because the previous version um, actually kind of crapped out on me this the had a totally different tread totally different thing it had like multiple um materials down there and some of the lugs actually were snapping off we, i went to uh, iceland and did some hiking in iceland and some of the especially the outside ones just were popping off i um i let i let them know and they it, they kind of it felt like um because i think it had some kind of warranty but they're basically it just seemed too much trouble after I, I went to the store in person and I think I called him or something and it it seemed like it was more trouble than it was worth so I ended up uh, giving up on that and just uh, getting these new ones eventually oh and I almost forgot to mention these do have a uh, insole that is removable this came with the shoe so you can I, I like that I like that because you can take out these ones if you want it's a little bit dirty you know that's that's that has actually a little bit of cushioning there but yeah you can this is the the original you can take that out if it's too thin or if you need more and uh, you know stick in whatever you want but the original one here has actually worked fine for me but yeah they're good shoes maybe maybe a little bit heavier you know than your normal shoes I think just the perfect in my opinion perfect uh, amount of stiffness there Water resistance is good. Comfort for me has been absolutely perfect. I, I really ha uh, haven't had any issues. Like I always bring some, um, what do they call it? The uh, the little band-aid type things that are made just for hiking. I uh, can't remember the name. Anyway, I always bring some of those, but I rarely ever need them in these shoes. I was, I was using those a lot more when I was using some uh, higher ankled um, hiking boots. But these shoes, I, I don't know. I just really... They, they fit me real well and I have um, <laughs> I thought I had flat feet but I just had like, some, some kind of 3d foot scan and they actually said I don't so I, I don't know what I have but usually I have some issues but both the times I bought these uh, North Face I haven't had any issues one thing I didn't know until after I bought them they yeah maybe it should have been obvious but I, I didn't pay enough attention this is actually is an is a leather um, upper 
you can see right there in the, on the tag, it, it mentions that it uses some animal uh, product on the, on the upper. Now, I don't know if they've changed that since then, but I, I prefer not to buy when I, when I have a choice, I prefer not, per, prefer not to buy, uh, you know, shoes with animal products on them or in them or made that are made from that. But, um, anyway, they've been really good shoes. Uh, next time, first of all, I don't even know when I'm going to need new ones. These still, they have no tears. Tread is good. And tearing is, is actually a common issue I've had on a couple different hiking shoes where they'll tear where they get bent or crack or the, actually the upper will break. And I've had that happen before, but these have show, shown no signs of breaking. Sometimes even the threads will start coming apart, but these are still, I mean, almost like new. And I, and I almost never wash them, if anything, I just hose them off. So it's not like I have treated them particularly well. Yeah, I like them a lot. Um, so anyway, as, as I was saying, a yeah, little, little bit of damage there, I think, but it's not quite even a hole. I just noticed that, but even like I was saying, eventually they'll wear out, I guess. And, I, and I'll look in again at uh, North face and see what they have to offer. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be a little while before, uh, before I have to replace these still anyway. That's my quick update. If you have any questions or whatever, just uh, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.